So it uh, may not look like it, but I've really been trying to clean the shop up lately and get a couple of different projects done and all that kind of stuff. Um, got a new toolbox, trying to move some stuff into that. Anyway, uh, trying to organize here recently, I realized that I have got just like like a lot of hammers and mallets. Um, I got a whole top of a toolbox just full of hammers and mallets. Uh, this little guy right here, this is my favorite, but uh, that's not all of them. You got this guy here, my stiletto titanium framing hammer has not gotten a lot of use yet. That was bought in anticipation of doing some remodeling to our house. That'll happen at some point, I'm sure. And I'm sure by this point you're saying, well, Wes, that is just a lot of hammers. I'm, I'm not done yet. Uh, so got this little guy recently. He goes in my electrical, plumbing, HVAC, what have you box. This is an electrician's hammer. It's a Gravik. Uh, got it from Harry J. Epstein Company. First, one of the first things I bought from them. Pretty awesome. Really like it. Uh, top needs to be sanded down a little bit. But it was a great price. American made. Should work for me. Same time I picked up this little dude. It's another 13 ounce hammer. My uh, red plum there was also. Those are really getting difficult to find. So this is more of a hedge your bets for whenever something eventually happens to my favorite hammer or if something does happen to it. <clears throat> and of course, deep down in the box, got another plum hammer, 20 ounce. I've used this to break up tile and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, I uh, might have a problem with buying hammers. So uh, don't think I need any more. But I said that before I bought those two. And probably before I bought some of these ones. So, you know, maybe, maybe more. 